Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 16 wins, five losses, and one draw. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Brasilia Distrito Federal, Brazil, presenting the challenger, Renato Moicano Canero. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 23 wins, one loss. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting at a Mecca Russia, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Islam Bokachev. UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. You ready? You ready? Fight. All right, so here we are, the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden. It's crazy to think that not all that long ago, mixed martial arts was not regulated in New York. When that legislation came down, the UFC came strong, and we've been omnipresent ever since. John, we kick the door in. Yes. If you're gonna open, if you're gonna say you're welcome in MSG, the UFC is coming. And every time we have gone there, we have brought phenomenal fight cards and some of the biggest moments in UFC history. Now if the Knicks could just get their act together. The Knicks will never get their act together, and I'm okay with it. A big ball punch lands. Now we get back to range. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Punches block. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Moicano gets caught with that punch. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. in a single collar tie. There's no tell on that leg kick. And he landed the right hand there. Nice take. Oh, nice pop there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling and now he has his opponent where he is. A sigh of relief from the people watching because they were tired of watching him flail around trying to get takedowns and get defended over and over again. Finally gets it. Now what does he do with the top of the floor? Just over three minutes now to go. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you the You've got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. He needs to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest. Getting tighter. Right into side control, upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. 
and you got to look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten him out and just go for the finish. All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. I mean, how many can he take? Into the final minute now of this championship fight. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. He's attacking arm bar now. You got to recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you got to move him off and you got to cover. You can't be off to an angle. Oh, now he's in trouble. All right, full guard here, DC. We'll see how soon he tries to pass. Well, he needs to be passing immediately. In the full guard is where you are in most danger as a top fighter because they have all of their submissions. Right. They have the guillotine, they have the armbar, they have the kimuras, they have all their locks when they're in the full guard. So if you pass, you really do limit the danger that you're in from the top position. Now listen to me, that was a great round. I don't want you to force that. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Moicano. Big knee. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, uh, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. What a wrestler. That was an amazing takedown. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Back mount now. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, he has to go. Nicely done. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Three minutes remain in the round. Under three minutes to go, round two. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Ground and pound strike there now. Oh, looks like he's transitioning to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jiu-jitsu guys. He's gonna tag armbar here. There it is. And 
and this might just be a matter of time. Not tapping out tonight. All right, full guard now, DC. The fighter on top needs to be trying to gain posture to throw ground and pound and then move to the next position. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to build a shield. Try to push your opponent off to try to get back in. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Blocks that kick to the body. Good punch. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Switch, he lands to the body. How good is that right hand? Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Uppercut lands for him. That uppercut landed. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, that's a nice strike. Takedown defense holds up. Look at how he drives his knee right into his opponent's midsection. That knee might have landed there. Nice shot inside by the champion. And they separate. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing. Taken is down on here by Boy Connor. Guillotine attempt now looks as though he's got the neck. the horn at the end of the round so the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded safe to say he was saved by the bell there so back to the stools they go 60 seconds to recover here we're gonna fight on ladies and gentlemen another round coming up all right a lot of highlights from which to choose over those previous five minutes dc a lot of good work on the ground you knew john going into the fight that if he was able to get this fight to the floor he would have the most success and you saw it in that exchange he was able to get posture, land some really good ground and pound as the round came to an end. All right, here we go with our next round, and thankfully for his opponent, it begins on the feet because his face was turning into mincemeat with that ground and pound in the previous round. Oh, he got demolished, man. It was punches, it was elbows, it was transitions into the elbows. I mean, he, was so, he had so much more knowledge in this area that although his opponent is a great ground fighter, Jiu-Jitsu goes out the window when you're getting punched in the face. And there was no better example of it than what we just saw in the previous round. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Beautiful, beautiful. Flush right hand is true. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Moicano. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. That knee might have landed there. Double leg takedown attempt here, and that is a good attempt as he gets the fight back to the mat. It's ideal. His I now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. But now DC trying to isolate an arm. Yep, he's using the Kimura. And this might just be a matter of time. And he's out. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Now it's his mount. Let's go. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strokes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. 
Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Moicano's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. All right, working inside the now open guard of his opponent. Uh-oh. Throwing up a triangle. The guy on his back is very good at submissions, and if he's not careful here, he's going to get stuck, and he will have to submit. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Lands the ground and pound strike. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Oh, that'll work. The ground and pound strike is good. Attacking arm bar. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. It's in there deep. There you go. submission and he bided his time there he stayed patient waited for an opening and then when it was there he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight all right let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight champ he does a great job of staying patient he doesn't rush or panic you are never safe when you're fighting this guy you're in a lot of trouble you're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submission So there is the man they are all chasing at 155 pounds, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion.